This session is on leftmost and rightmost derivations in context free grammar. So, now what is the leftmost and rightmost? Definition for the first one is for the leftmost. Okay. A derivation A produces W using multiple time production rule following the grammar G is called a leftmost derivation if we apply a production only to the leftmost variable at each step. That means, let us suppose from A, I have got this x1, x2, dot dot xm. Then after applying multiple time production rules from x1, I shall form w1 that is the consisting of terminal symbols and then rest will be x2, dot dot xm. So, at first I shall consider this x1. And then from x2, w2 will be generated. In this way, if we proceed for multiple time production rules, if we apply, go on applying, then from xm, I will be getting this wm. So, w1, w2 up to wm, I can consider it as w. So, I can write that a from the a, from the very start symbol a variable, I can reach to w following the grammar g using multiple time production rule. So, here we are just deciding that whatever the variable which will be obtained first from the left hand side in our sentential forms will be will be derived to have the next sentence sentential form using the respective production rules. So, same thing will happen in case of rightmost uh, technique. See a derivation A produces W after application of multiple time productions is called a rightmost derivation if we apply a production to the rightmost variable at each step. So, same thing we are going to have. So, here we will be having W m from x m at first. In this way, if we proceed, then W 2 from x 2. In this way, if we proceed, then W 1 from x 1. And this is the thus from the start uh, non-terminal, we are having this multiple time production rule following the grammar G will be reaching to the set of terminal. So, we will be reaching to a sentence or reaching to a particular word which is consisting of set of terminals in this way. So, this is the case. I think to make our conception clear, let us go through one example. So, here one problem is given. We are having this S produces A, A, S, S, S produces A and other production rules are given. Okay. Uh, for the sake of simplicity, I am just numbering this one. Let it be 1. 2. So, when, when I shall apply them, I can mention the number so that you can understand that which production rule has been applied. So, here we are having 5 production rules for the input string A A B B A A. So, the input string is A A B B A A. That means, it is nothing but A square B square A square. So, A A B B A A, this input string has to be generated from this particular grammar. Find leftmost derivation, rightmost derivation and derivation tree. So, it is having three sub parts of this particular problem. So, let me go for one by one. So, now see, so in this particular sentential form, in this particular sentential form, I am from the left hand side, the first non-terminal is capital A. So, in case of leftmost derivation, I shall go for capital A. So, it is by rule 1. So, capital A is the first non-terminal coming on the left hand side in the sentential form. So, from there, I shall be applying the next production rule. Okay. Now, see, we are having this. So, from here, from A, I am getting this SBA. So, that is my production rule number 3. And this A is there and this A is there. Okay. My purpose is to make this particular string ready. Okay. Now, see, from the left hand side, the first non terminal is our capital S. So, it has to be deduced. It has to be deduced. So, what to do? See, here I should bring 2 times A. So, S produces A can be applied. So, I have got A, A, B. Now, this A is there. So, from A, we can apply that B A. 
okay so from the left hand side the first norm terminal is a so i can go for so by 5 so from a i'm getting this ba so i'm remaining with this s so from the left hand side the first non terminal is our capital s so capital s can produce a so so in this way so by applying production rule number 1 3 2 5 2 i've got this particular uh, leftmost um, string we are having this leftmost derivations because we started from this left hand side and we found the first non terminal and then we applied the respective production rule accordingly so we have completed this leftmost derivation now we are going for the rightmost derivation okay now see in case of rightmost derivation we will be writing in this way so there is a first one so from the right hand side i'm getting this s from the right hand side i'm getting this s so that has to be derived next So, I am having this production rule number 2 I have applied. So, S has been replaced by small a. So, from the right hand side, this is my first non terminal. So, I shall be going with A now. So, now here this A has been replaced by SBA. This A is there, this A is there. So, SBA. Now, from the right hand side, the first non terminal is our capital A. So, I shall be going with the capital A now. So now, in case of capital A, I am replacing this capital A by B A. So this is my rightmost derivation, S B. So I shall go for B A, and this A is already there by production rule number five. So in the next one, in case of rightmost derivation, from the right hand side, I am getting this S as the first non-terminal. So I am just replacing it by A. So what is this? We are getting this a square, b square, a square. So here also I got a square, b square, a square. So here we are having lm, here we are having rm, leftmost derivation, rightmost derivation. Now the last topic is the derivation tree. The last topic is the derivation tree. So let us form the derivation tree for both and you can find that they are the same actually. See, at first from from S, I was having this A, A, S. So from this A, I am having this S, B, A. From this S, I am having this A. From this A, from this A, I am having this B, A. And from this S, I am having this A. So my yield will be. So that is nothing but A A B B A A. So in this way, this particular tree has been generated. It is known as derivation tree. So in case of rightmost derivation, let me do the same. So at first I applied A A S. Then this S has been replaced by A. This A has become S B A. So now I selected this particular A. So it came as B A and this S has got replaced by A. So here also the yield will be the same. That is my yield. So yield is A A B B A A. So in this way the trees have got formed. I know that the, I formed this particular tree in different order but after drawing they are looking like same. So, we are having this derivation tree, rightmost and leftmost derivations. So, all the problems, all the sub problems we have solved. So, in this way, I think the theorems are now getting clear to you. So, in this way, we can go for leftmost and rightmost derivation techniques. Thanks for watching this particular video.